Dunes of Oklahoma. Welcome high above downtown Oklahoma City. Hello and thanks for joining us folks for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brett Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Good evening, Kevin. Shea Gilgis Alexander loves getting to the rim. Last season, he led the league in drives per game by a wide margin. Matter of fact, he drove the most that we've ever seen since they started tracking the stat back in 2013. His blend of length, strength, and craftiness has been remarkable to watch. Guys? Like you, David, on the sideline. Boy, I love Gilgis Alexander in his game. D.A., thank you. Here's the starting group for Houston. The backcourt made up of Wall and Green. E.J. out there with Gordon. And it's Wood in at the five spot. And for the Thunder, we've got Gilgis Alexander. Lou Dort out there with Favors. And it's Baisley in at the four slot. Just sort of looking at the standings here, Greg, midseason. Do you think the conference system still holds any relevance? Listen, I think for travel distance, it makes sense to continue to have divisions and conferences. But in the perfect world, I think we'd love to see, hey, let's just see them one through 16 and determine who's truly the best. And for the first time, Greg, in his career, MP was named NBA Player of the Month. And with all the talent in our league, Player of the Month is a really hard honor to earn. So enjoy it, MP. Here's Giddy. Outside favors. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Baisley. Five to shoot. Dort finds Gildas Alexander off target from outside. For Oklahoma City, their last game was a loss to Houston. Offensive rebound, best. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now, here's Gildas Alexander. And uh, in that game with Houston, he did not play well. Green with the ball. Favors picks him up. Down low. Here's Best. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Best's got his second bucket. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Here's Giddy. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. And the three off target. And recent news, GA, MP winning Rookie of the Month honors, silencing the doubters, wouldn't you say? Well, you think back to the beginning of the season, there were many who questioned MP's dedication to the game. He certainly answered those questions with this award. Lays it up and banks it in. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Here's Best. Second shot opportunity. Misses the layup. Oklahoma City's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Giddy. They double him with Green. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. Favors and Derek Favors with the slam. Zero hesitation from Shea on that play. And the lefty forward Darius Baisley Brent can hurt you inside and outside. Well, he's more comfortable on the attack where he's able to put the ball down on the floor and extend and use his athletic ability. But he is gaining some confidence in that shot. And in the offseason, if you work hard enough, you can come back the next year and really show that you're more of a weapon on the outside than you were the year before. Now, here's Green. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. And how about the read from John Wall? He knows the angles, sees the opportunity, and makes the right beat. 
And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And that one, good. That's 10 points for DJ. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Gil just Alexander passes to Basley from the arc. Dort misses. Looking at the last game for the Oklahoma City Thunder, it was a loss to the Rockets in Houston. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Best the shot is good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Here's Gilgis Alexander. A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Gilgis Alexander, some imaginative offense on that play. To the paint. Here's Best. Nifty move. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got three assists now in this one. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Now, here's Dort. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Favors passes to Baisley. And the rejection by Best. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain the possession. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Trailing here by eight. Six on the shot clock. Here's Giddy. And just staying connected on the defensive end. Wood was in great position there to alter that shot. In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing their defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome today. Yeah, blending that power with quickness. Favors provides his team with some solid interior scoring. Here's Best. Shakes him. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters from the goal. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Inside. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Gordon. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Green gets it to go. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Dort misses. Houston leading by 10. Passes it to Gordon. Outside, Green. And some nice passing there by Houston. Here's Wall. Second chance shot. Best's shot is good. Best's got 22 points. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain this. Pass to Baisley. The Rockets pull it in. Best's got eight rebounds in this game. And Gordon gets it to go in on the assist by DJ. And the Rockets lead by 14. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Dort. Here's Giddy. 
outside, Dort. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. Mike Muscala is checked in for the Thunder. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Tate, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. Here's Muscala. Shot is good off the back rim and in. A terrific movement off of the dead ball situation and a great play to get the bucket. Now the pass to Tate. Now here's Green. The feed to DJ. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. To the inside. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Here's Best. That's tipped. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy's got it back down to within single digits for Oklahoma City. And Wall kicks to Green. Wall dishes to DJ. Passes it to Tate. Six to shoot. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Outside, Dort. Back to Gildas Alexander. Here's Muscala. Misses the three. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Best. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And now a 12-point Houston lead. And so here is Oklahoma City. And here is Gilgis Alexander. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. Here's Giddy. Five on the clock. Here's Roby. Green with the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Best passes to Green. All with it. Gilgis Alexander covering. To the middle. And DJ throws it down. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got his second basket of the night. Gilgis Alexander becoming more and more comfortable where he can score on the floor. Green, the pass to Wall. Driving to the basket. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And boy, are they attacking the paint. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Both teams will make substitutions. One shot. What's up? And that one falls for Wall. And there's a lot of nuance to Wall's game. People talk about his speed and, and things like that, but his instinct and skill are equally as important, if not more so. Lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. Here's Tate. That shot, no good. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Pass to man. And he gets the bucket. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. Here's Wall. Nine point game is last outing. Outside Porter. Back to Wall. Houston moving it around. It's intercepted. Here's Mann. Pass to Pakusevsky. 
Gilgis Alexander kicks to Muscala. Akusevsky the pass to Gilgis Alexander. From past the arc. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Houston. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And don't go away. We'll be right back. through one quarter it's been a lopsided game we'll see if that changes here in the second and quite a position here for the Rockets to be in what do you think guys now here's wall guarded closely Wood best to best. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. They get Derek favors. Well, we've heard, Brent, some teams say more should be done to protect players from dangerous fouls. Do you agree? Well, I, I think the headshots are something that people are looking at most. Uh, it's player safety comes first. And I know a lot of people that watch basketball in the 70s and 80s when the game was much more physical where those plays didn't result in technical fouls see it a bit differently but it's still about protecting the players and avoiding those kind of plays to put them in danger and and, and I'm for that Thunder trailing by 16 now here's Dort a pass to Baisley sinks the three pointer Baisley's got five points way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Favors against Wall. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That's his second personal foul. What a great finish there from Wall. It's clear he doesn't fear anyone when he's looking to score. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. Oklahoma City's gone one of six from three point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Going inside, boom, he jams it straight down. Making the most of the screen, that's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there, lack of communication on the backside. Pass to Wood, dishes to DJ. Lays it up off the glass. And that's now 30 points for DJ. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Here's Giddy. 23 points for him the last game against Houston. Let's us not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Favors can't get it to go. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Down low. Wood pass to best. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Best's got 32 points in the game. Outside, Dort. Here's Baisley, and the rejection by Best. His touches left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need Josh from him. Christopher. Beautiful transition Christopher. offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Here's Baisley. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Houston. Slamming it home. The part of why Favors shoots it so well from the field. Sometimes he just spikes it instead of shooting it. Here's Wood. 
The teardrop falls in. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Man passes to Favors. Outside, Dort. Tipped away and stolen by DJ. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. And finished off by Wood. And there's a lot of power behind Woods' dunks. He's not going to get cheated when he takes it to the rim. Outside, Dort. Pass to Giddy. Down to five on the shot clock. It's blocked, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Rockets ball. Here is Wall. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. Best and good coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got six assists in the game. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Here's Mann. Six points for him. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Got a piece of it. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. 121 left in the first half. Christopher, the pass to best. And he uses the glass on the way. 36 points for DJ. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Now Dort. Pass to man. 56 seconds left in the first half. Out left to the wing. Just five on the clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. And again, unable to change momentum here. Wood kicks the wall. Here's Best, and DJ throws it down. And that's a nice assist from Wall. Scanning the floor, just looking to find the best shot possible. Outside, Dort to the left side wing. Here's Mann, guarded by Green, and the pass to Baisley. A three-pointer is right on target. Baisley's got 10 points in the game. That's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter, and bang, just kicks it out. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Outside, Dort shoots it. And so it's Houston rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. Right back after this break. with a big gap on the scoreboard the second half begins with very different goals for these teams one side trying to mount a comeback one side trying to protect their lead you look at dj in this one he's been everywhere well it didn't take him long to get that double look at that yeah. you can tell he put a lot of practice into that one Wall's always ready to break out something slick if he's got the time and space Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And Shea Gilgis Alexander, he'll attack the rim as often as you let it. That's impressive stuff, too, for a young player to just rely on the fact that they are relentlessly going to attack any 
opposition defensively and try to get to the free throw line and take that kind of contact. And that's what Shea does. Now, here's DJ. Not a lot of room. Right side, Green. Gordon for three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Beasley's got rebound number five here tonight. Gilgis Alexander against Wall. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws. His first personal foul. And with deceptive speed and a lengthy wingspan, defenders can sometimes just get stuck fouling favors. For Oklahoma City, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And he makes the first. That one is no good. And one thing Favors always brings to the table is the threat of a double-double. Nine in and nine out. He makes an impact with his play inside. Oklahoma City shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. For your Oklahoma City. Free throw good, George. At the line for two. All free throws good from George. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. It'll be the first of four played at home for him. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Here's Giddy. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one goes on Wood. All the officials are all over that one. The Thunder have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Roby, he's checked in for Derek Favors. Houston moving the ball around. DJ dishes to Green. To the inside. Here's Giddy, defended by Gordon. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by Houston. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. They get it back. Here's Best, the second effort. Wood trying to free himself up. Best can't hit. Gordon, the pass to Best. Let it fly. Outside Gordon. Clock at six. Goes back up. Best can't hit. The Thunder have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Doubled by Best. Baisley passes to Dort. Oklahoma City the rebound, and it's blocked by Best. Gilgis Alexander against Gordon. And finished off by Wood. And the evolution of Wood continues to impress, accepting a bigger role in this offense. The Thunder shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Dort wide open. Good on the triple. Dort's got nine. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Passes it to best. Here's Wood. Inside. Best can hit. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. And it's Gordon finishing it off. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Giddy the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Nice D from Wall. For Houston, they've gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. To the paint. And there's Wood. That's good on the assist by DJ. 
Best's got six assists here tonight. Oklahoma City's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. But it's what for Oklahoma City. Mike Muscala. Substitution on the court. Pass to Wall. To the inside. Nice move. Wood trying to free himself up. And DJ with a layup. Best's got 44. Thunder trailing by 21. Here's Man. Eight points for him. Back to Dort. Shot clock at six. Over Green. That's short off the rim. Rockets leading by 21. Down low. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Mann. Covered by Wall. Here's Baisley. Good. Nice job down low. Baisley's got 12 points in the game. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Dort against Gordon. Outside favors. Pass to Baisley. The three. Barry's the long-range jumper. Beasley's got five points now this quarter. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And so it's Houston closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So on the floor for Houston. Out on the perimeter, Green and Gordon. EJ out there with Christian Wood. And it's Wall in at the one. Shot clock at five. Best. And DJ throws it down. Well, he's leading everyone in points right now. His teammates keep feeding him the ball, and he keeps delivering. Wall against Gilgis Alexander. There's the pass to Baisley. Wood comes with the double team. It's stolen by Green. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his third It is ball. great to see Wall back First from team those foul. awful injuries looking a lot stronger now. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting. With some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case, and, and really the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor, and maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. Inside, here's Baisley, and stolen by DJ. Outside, Green. Here's Best. He goes up again. And another Wonderful. one falls. Amazing. My goodness. 50 for, for the game. Yep, he is putting That's on a show. 
And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. And stolen by DJ. Right wing. Kicks it out to Gordon. Launches it. Good on the three-point shot. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Gilgis Alexander against Wall. And they get it. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the foul against Houston. Gilgis Alexander, such growth in his first year, continues to show he's learning this game. For the Rockets, David Mwabach checked in for Gordon. And it's Matthews in for Green. To the middle, here's Best. Good, that's another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. And with so many entertainment options these days, Brent, the NBA not shy innovating to attract and retain viewers. Where do you sit with that? Keep it the same or, or be creative? Well, I think the league does a great job of being creative. And I think that you know, Adam Silver does a, a really good job of not just being a leader, but being a listener. And there's tremendous participation between the Players Association and the commissioner and the ownership group to continue to press the way that the game is played, try to innovate in the way that the game is broadcast. And uh, it'll continue to do those sort of things to draw in uh, the fans that, that love this game are invited to that kind of competition. Such a big part of what he does for this team, just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. To the paint, here's Wall, stripped away. Here's Baisley, misses from short range. For Houston, they've gotten it done so far from the field here on the fourth, going six for seven, and Matthews throws it down. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Wall against Gilgis Alexander. Stolen. And he's got a five by five. Moving it up. And DJ gets it to go on the assist by Wood. Best's got 54 points. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Up next for him, the Grizzlies at the FedEx Forum. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And the turnover again by Oklahoma City. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Now Ladon's checked in. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 19-4 run right now. Down low. And DJ throws it down. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope, uh, up and in with a one-hand uh, finish, uh, the most basic possible. And the foul called on DJ. And that'll be his third foul so far. The Rockets making a switch here. Schroeder's checked in. Dennis Schroeder. And here is Melodon. Here's Wiggins, rebound by Best. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. The offensive rebound. The second chance effort. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. For Oklahoma City, they've gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Aladon passes to Baisley. And the foul called on DJ. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Brent is someone with on-court and front office experience. Just how valuable is a good relationship, do you think, between the players and a team's executive leadership? Well, Kevin, I don't think it's much different than a, a good friendship. You know, take it away from the court and think about things in your life that impact you. It's somebody that shows that they, they care for you beyond what it is that you bring to the table. And that's the most important part about 
earning and, and trying to gain trust with the players that you bring into any program is that you want to let them know that you care and you want to let them know that you have interest in them as people first. And if you can get to that point, that, that foundation and platform to build out a player and to have him grow with the organization, uh, that's, a, that's a priceless relationship. So we see Houston taking the W here. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory no less. That's exactly right but with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it that's how to get it done on the road. Well folks that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony and David Ulrich this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night everyone. Really, really nice job applying defensive pressure in tonight's win. How much does film work contribute to being able to play the passing lanes like you did tonight? Um, film work is huge, but it's about more than passing lanes. You learn the tendencies too, little, little tells that help you anticipate what they're gonna do. Right, so how much does the coaching staff help you with that? Oh, they're a huge help, but I've, I, you gotta take initiative, Candice. If, if you're not doing film work outside of the team setting, you're putting yourself behind the eight ball. So film work is a must in this league or in any level of anything, really. If you got the opportunity to study film, take it. Hey, everyone. Wow, man, player of the month. Well-deserved, MP. How does it feel? You know, the, the award is nice, but you want to know what really makes me happy? Knowing that I'm pulling my actual weight. There's a lot of people involved in this thing. You got 14 other guys on an active roster, everyone in the G League, the coaching staff, the, the front office. Man, we've got all these people dedicating their lives to the same goal. You, you want to do your part, um, but you, you don't want to waste people's time. So I'm, I'm happy I can reward the time that's uh, spent with me, reward them for their hard work and just help us reach a common goal. Great stuff as always, MP. Congrats again and looking forward to the next one. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you. All right, no more questions? Thank you. <laughs>